Yes, 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 I'm back here with another video. I know it's been a little while since I touched your screens. I've just been super busy with non-music and music related things, finishing off some projects, producing some beats. I'm back now, doing regular uploads to make sure I've got more content coming, more gens for you to take advantage of. And I've just copped the new iPhone 13 Pro Max as well. I'm gonna be showing you my workflow of how I make some bangers on the iPhone, so stay tuned on the channel. In this video, I wanted to let you know about this free AUV free plugin that I've been using to add some character towards my beats. And not many things with high quality come free nowadays. The thing is with iOS music production, you can get carried away with spending quite a bit of money on some apps. But with this decent sampler, similar sounds that I've paid some money for are currently on there for free and probably sound a little bit better. So I wanna show you how we get sounds in this decent sampler so you can add towards your workflows and just create some unique beats with some characteristics which stand out a lot. So the best thing about this decent sampler is that other producers, other musicians, sound engineers, they can create sounds and upload them to this platform. And it's there for you to either purchase, and trust me, there's a lot on there that you can just download and stream for free. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm just gonna get straight into the video, show you how you get these sounds, you know, have a little play around to see if you can get a banger made out of these sounds too. So leave any comments down below of any apps that you want me to review, and hit the like button, subscribe, so YouTube actually tells you when I release another gem. So let's get into the video, come on. Just got my iPad home screen loaded up. So as you're gonna see, we're gonna go into Decent Sampler. So this is the display area of the whole app. So we wanna go into Browse. So this is where we can see the presets that are available for download natively. Got a few here which you know are free, um, a few here which are paid for, and there's quite a small library. So when I found this resource and this platform that we can use to download more sounds, I was literally blown away. Sonic Toothbrush, let's load this up. So as you can see, you've got different variations of the presets, which is to give the sound a little bit more character. You've even got shimmer pads. So all these variations of the preset gives you the choice for you to kind of pick the type of sound that you want. These are kind of the landscape sounds, you know, the ones that you just have in the background, just running. Got a violin. I don't want to make a beat at this. Hey, it's a bit emotional that one is. Another one here. The Glockenspiel. So I'm gonna show you how to find this resource. This actual platform we use is a free platform and it's called Pianobook. So you go and head over to pianobook.co.uk. I'll leave the link in the description. It's this platform here where we can download the sample packs. This is where I'm gonna go direct you to find your free sounds. So the two areas which I go to is the EXS24 or Decent Sampler. But I tend to find there's more samples to download on EXS24, which is Logic's own sampler pre-built inside. Let's have a look. Let's go shopping. So as you can see, these are all the sounds that are available right now. Let's find a choir sound, for instance. These are the different musicians or sound engineers that upload some of their presets to piano book which can be downloaded so you can read up about the background of how this sample was made where it's come from you can listen on soundcloud to get a bit of a preview do you know what I'm just gonna download it, it's free. So we just literally just download that and it goes all the way into a zip folder. Back to sample packs, find some piano sounds. So there's a whole load of piano sounds on here. Part piano, let's download this one here. You can see a few of the reviews, you know, pretty decent. Got 
go shopping. Let's let's search for some more sounds, you know. Let, let's build up this library. Because I have a feeling, you know, when something's so good and it's free, it's going to be gone soon. So I'm filling up my basket right now. There's so many. All these sounds are, are for free. Romantic guitars. These might have some good notes in it. Don't even need to read the reviews. I'm just checking out straight away. Some pop-up comes up and tells me I've, I've, I've exceeded my limit. So I'm going to look through a couple on a decent sampler as well. Got a saxophone on here. Yes. Do you know what? Well, uh, because it's free. Brass. So we've got a nice trumpet sound in here. That sounds trapped to me straight away. So you can kind of get the gist. There's loads of sounds on here. It just takes a little bit of time for you just to filter through what you like, what you don't like, and then download. So, you know, just spend a, you know, set aside half an hour, an hour of your time just to filter through some of these sounds and get them whilst they're free. So I'm just gonna run through, download small sounds. I'm gonna show you how to arrange it and how to get them into the decent sampler. So as you can see, all the sounds will be in your downloads folder in your files app. So what I'm going to do is just create a folder with all the decent sampler files and zips. So they're all together. And then I'm going to import them into the decent sampler. So as you can see, I've got my Decent Sampler presets all lined up here. And then what I'm gonna do is load up Decent Sampler. So now that we've got this loaded up, I'm gonna go on File and you go on Load. And then it brings up my Decent Sampler presets. If it doesn't load up the exact file, you can literally find it by navigating to wherever you stored it. Literally, they're all on here. So what I can do is double click on a folder. Would you like to install this in the library? Yes, we do. There it is. And let's bring in something else. You can literally hear each sample and to say this is free. This is going to be something which will definitely add some value to whatever your workflows that you do. Get it now while it's free. What I like about this app is that obviously you're going to cycle through quite a lot of sounds. So with the load recent, it brings up the last 10 different sounds that you've used. Workflow is going to be made so much easier and you'll be able to kind of navigate through all the different sounds that you've got and all your sounds are there, easy, and it's installed. It's that quick. So I'm going to load up Beatmaker 3 now. So this is the part where, this is the part where, you know, we're going to try and make some bangers in this place. So. Let's just experiment and just see what we can put together. 